Alright, so, um, it's a different little one for them, yeah? Let me make sure that this is. Alright, it's on me. Um, you get me? Obviously, I've written down the bits and. Oh, what? You can see my whiteboard. You get me? Plan. Plan your shit, rude boy. Rude girls. You get me? What do they say? Um, failing to plan is like planning to fail. Oh, this is a local um, video, predominantly to one of the queens, a big supporter of mine, um, who's looking to get into bodybuilding, competitive bodybuilding, I should say. And a few of the men them as well, and a few um, other people have been asking. You know, sliding in at the DMs them, two to comment them about this topic, yes sir. So, I've numbered it, one to ten. Scum! I'm just gonna deal with it. Quick video, so just knock out some knowledge and, um, knowledge, information. And, um, big up sis, because she asked for it, so here you go. Um, boom, let's go. Question one. <laughs> Obviously, I've got the questions on my phone. When wanting to get started with bodybuilding, as a woman who's who class who's classed as overweight with 30% body fat, should I be eating to lose or eating to build if I'm trying to lose body fat and build muscle? Okay. Well, Missy, I would personally say if eating to like lose weight and build muscle to just cleanse up your palate, train harder and to just do a bit more cardio. Let's not um, overcomplicate it. If something's not broken, do not fix it. Question two. Yeah. Um, did you do cardio during your competition prep? And if so, how much? If you didn't do any cardio, would you advise me to do cardio with my stats? Um, first, let me get into that. I actually don't do any cardio whatsoever. Um, and... Um, if I did, yeah, I would say do cardio. I would say do a car an hour of cardio every day with um before your training. Sometimes even fasted cardio burns off excess fat um a bit quicker. So before you even eat, get your ass down to the gym and give yourself an hour of that fasted cardio, baby girl. Cool. Also, listen, yeah, because I'm natty. Fuck. My my language, intercourse, yeah. People love chatting. Beer intercourse, man. Intercourse yourself, slim. Okay. Um, number three. What's my training at that like? training split and how many days do I work out? Ba 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 bam. I actually work out on prep five to six days a week and twice a day. Do you know? Um, the training split gets kind of crazy because I train single body parts. So I eat. Chest. And no, sorry, not even like that. I eat upper chest. Yeah? Um quadriceps. Hamstrings. Do you get it? Like I don't do oh yeah, buys and tries today. Yeah, push day. That's good. Yeah, none of that. Yeah? I pick a body part, tear it down. Yeah? Scum. Scum. Hey, okay. So um question four. How do you go about getting into competition or well, competing and how do you know what type of body type will be suitable for you? Basically, um, what category? Yeah, so, um, how did I get about, well, research, isn't it? Research from the internet, social media, friends, all of that type of thing. Um, yeah, that is, um how you find out, you know, and my body type. Well, it was recommendation from a friend really and a bit of like fitness knowledge, you know, being um, a natty athlete and being in the fitness industry for over like 10 years and that. I knew, like I've just got a golden era physique in it, knowing I've never taken steroids and like, do you know what I'm trying to say? So it had to have been um, classic physique or men's physique. But me now like men's physique, so I was, fixated on classic um but literally you just have to find out from pre like friends previous that have entered into competitions in it and like actually do your own research and absorb some knowledge and just make your own decision from there knowing your own body type and just seeing what the eye kind of fancies and know where you would reside okay and also if you want you could just get a 
proper professional opinion from like a judge or something you can always go on the internet and find out that question six and it says how long does it take to prepare for a competition and what are the different stages preparing for the competition right up to the day okay so for me i would say a correct competition prep no fucking mickey mouse business panda ice street 16 weeks in it proper prep let's not mess about let's get let's get done t blah, 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 blah. let's get things done correct. and um the the um different stages of prepare blah, 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 blah. listen it's like i'm getting tongue twisted boom obviously like registering with the federation like you've got to register first you know pay to become a member of that federation that you then want to enter into that specific competition that you want to compete in cool um so registering with the federation tanning you've got to like book your tan like every, you, don't get it twisted bodybuilding is a bit costly my people it costs money investing on yourself so um yeah register with the federations before you enter the competition once you've done that then pay to enter into the competition then tanning you have to pay for tanning you have to get your trunks for the males and your bikini suits for the females book your hotel make sure you sort out your travel you have your food um you also have to book stage photos if you want stage photos for them to take pictures of you whilst you're on stage your nice you know pretty pretty picture them also make sure you bring spending money with you because at these um venues they always have loads of wicked merchandise you know like really good bodybuilding mementos and all of that so yeah that is this one here um number eight did i have a posing coach for my first competition i did pay for a few posing sessions um because i didn't know a damn pose i didn't have a clue so i had to do my little homework yeah go learn from my master like i did um around four to five sessions you know not not really um too expensive i did get the block sessions and i'm a really hard worker so i absorbed the poses and i went to work i'm not gonna act like it's not gonna take hard work and determination some people like are faster learners than others but with hard work the results will manifest so i would say yep yeah, i've done four competitions so far and for the first one i had a posing coach and the rest i didn't i just really went to work and done my homework every time did you have to enter the competition before preparing for it yes me went up i signed up with the pca federation it cost like what 60 pound for the year yeah and then whatever show they offer throughout that year that's the membership for the year that's with that federation it could vary with different federations yeah so you go from there and um pay again for the show that you want to enter okay so question 10 you have stated in videos before you eat around make like 10 times a day what sort of food do you eat throughout the day do you take supplements if so what supplements okay you know me animated man excited energy for eternity i don't eat 10 times a day i would say i eat six times a day um so i predominantly just eat small smaller portions um well yeah six times a day that's only like on prep in it but small meals um i eat pretty clean i can say it's pretty much it's along the line sometimes like it's not a vegan diet it's pretty much a pescatarian because i eat the fish and then sometimes i might dash in a steak you get it but um yeah i do eat really 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 clean on prep and um protein i mean supplements yes i sometimes i'll have like Opli is i think it's Oplimix um protein that's I, I think that was my first two competitions and then i came off of that and i started to create my own um protein shake homemade protein shake and i also have my own homemade green giant calorie shake that yeah that's the life on prep the ingredients i'll deliver that yeah all right okay, so number 11 
How often do you weigh and measure your progress? On prep, every bumper clock day. Yeah? I'll get out of bed on an empty stomach. I'll clack, 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 clam up the toilet. And I weigh myself. Mm hmm. Yes. But yeah, literally, um, guys and girls, every day, jump up out of bed, use the toilet, whatever you have to do. Empty stomach, get yourselves on the scales, um, measure your height. With me, I don't really, my height doesn't go crazy. I don't really do it every day, maybe every other day, but my weight I do measure twice a day, every day. Yep, on prep, even, not even on prep, do you know what I'm saying? Um, the 12th and final question. I am in. It says, when you train, do you do high reps on moderate weight or heavy weight on low reps or a mixture? All right now, cool. With me on prep, that specific question, high reps on moderate weight. But with me, I up the ante every set and keep the reps high. So what that does for me is help me build strength. Big bad boy strength. Pun prep with the heavy weights them the high the high frequency repetitions what does that do what does it do helps me build this sort of condition I reckon. yeah king v you see the vascularity just dead at inner the body now but listen yeah it helps um build up good good conditioning yeah so that is one to twelve for you guys and girls yeah Seriously, no, that was for you. Queen in a God we say. Yeah? Blessings, Pantapa. Blessings, everybody. 2020. Nothing but love. Push love. Eh? If your friend's a wish man, love him. Yeah? If he's a skateboarder, love him. Take off the mask and be yourself. But let's get it. Yeah? Dreams no work unless you do. <clears throat> you see it? Scum, scum, Panda Ice Street.